Casino is a weird mixture of Scorsese's career up until 1995. It has elements of all of his movies and once again shows his mastery of working with the camera. Yet there's something not quite right about Casino. It lacks the solidity his prior movies had. Something wasn't quite the same about this one. Of course it's still a fantastic movie in many ways. Like I mentioned, the camera work was astounding. Scorsese knows exactly how to work the camera to reflect character emotions and narrative. To be honest, this was probably the most impressive part of the movie. Some shots could easily match those of his work in Raging Bull or Taxi Driver. Where the movie falls down is its narrative. It lacks that punch. The movie's two separate segments that merge together in the final third, the first being the casino section. This kicks off the movie fantastically. It was an insight into another world full of glamour, violence and drama. The second segment is what lets the movie down. It was the character drama. We have four or five main characters that create this character drama, but the movie didn't make a good enough attempt to connect me with them until the final third. Until then there's no sympathy or reasoning created for them, which would be fine if they didn't spend so much time on pointless drama. I really didn't care about a lot of the relationships for most of the movie. I didn't really have a reason to care about them either. What I cared about was the casino. I really didn't care about the fabricated relationship between Ace and Ginger that the movie seemed so focused on showing me. I felt this really dragged the movie down, it slowed down the casino storyline and felt out of proportion with the rest of the narrative. Later on they managed to combine the two segments nicely, but it was too late. In the end I did care about the characters, but I had spent too much time not caring for it to have any real impact. They should have introduced elements like alcohol and their daughter a lot earlier. This had genuine impact, unlike a lot of the elements brought up earlier. Like I mentioned, the movie lacked solidity. It was missing that vital element that should tie everything together. Casino felt like three or four different stories being told in one movie. There wasn't much of a link between them. So as entertaining as it was, it didn't provide a strong enough narrative. It's easy to pick apart because it falls so closely to movies like Goodfellas. If it made itself its own movie, being more innovative, then it would have been a lot better. But it was constantly reminding me of movies that had already done exactly the same thing better years before. With strong performances, brilliant directing and moments of entertaining drama, Casino makes for an exciting watch. But a lack of innovation from previous titles and a weak narrative at points held it back from being anything more than that. I always find it hard to praise something that follows in the footsteps of previous works so closely without being better or unique enough. Still a must watch for fans of the genre, but it just doesn't stand up alongside the greats.